All right, guys, so we are going to try a pour on a 16 by 16 inch canvas that I got at Hobby Lobby. It has one and a half inch sides. I like sometimes smaller canvases. Um, I love the 20 by 20s, I know how to work those. This is gonna be slightly different. Um, and I'm not sure how this one's gonna turn out, so I have an extra one just in case. Um, I have my usual white, um, and it's the Artist Love Flow White. Two parts flow trawl to one part paint. And I am gonna do blue in here. And I'm not gonna pour the gold in because I'm not sure how much I can use. Um, if anybody is familiar with this paint, it's the um, DecoArt Extreme Sheen and it expands, you know, and sells up. So I don't want to overdo it per se, because if I have too much in there, then it'll just take over. All right, this is our Tezza's Bordeaux Red. It was in stock. I bought a bunch of it. That's mixed, like, Oh God, a very little bit. Um, so this is a seven ounce cup. There was very little red in it. And then the rest was Floetrol. You can really extend the Arteza paints. But they're wonderful. I have a couple of favorites if you guys want to know. I'm gonna tell you anyways. Um, I love their Prussian green. Their Prussian blue is nice their Bordeaux red, their pearl copper gold is great. They're all great. All right, so just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do, this is their Prussian green, literally this much paint and this much Floetrol. I mean, it really goes a far, pretty far. Now I'm not gonna use a whole 18 ounce cup. I'm gonna keep it to about right here. I don't know if that's gonna make any difference at all, but We'll give it a go. Um, all quiet. I'm tired. <laughs> I shoveled and scraped off the roof. We got about 12 inches of snow here. Um, I'm gonna actually add a little bit of the turquoise. Squeeze this in before the end of the night. This is Fire Opal by Folk Art. Uh, I mix it equal parts Floetrol to paint. And what else? Oh, I missed 
misspoke actually. Okay, so this is not the Decor Extreme Sheen. This is um, Craft Smart Radiant Gold. Um, I hope I didn't say it was Decor. If I did, big boo boo, because it is not. Um, and it should do the same thing for a less expensive price, which is always nice. It just rhymed. So used to filling the whole cup so I'm gonna stop before I get myself in trouble and have too much paint on the canvas that won't do me any good We're going to start. There's a bit of a swirl. I moved too fast on that one. Bring it back a little bit. There go my cats. All right, so I'm just spreading out the white. If this is the first time you've watched any of my videos, I spread the white out and I flood it pretty good around it. Because as if I did not do this, then the paint puddle would fold over itself, losing some pretty composition. So I like to see what it's gonna offer me before I go and stretch it out. And when I, um, I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. All right, so let's bring you guys in so you can see the center. So with the white around it, it will just um, sort of float across it and over the edges. It's pretty. So it'll be a, we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, 
Alrighty. Let's get the ball rolling. This isn't the best video. There we go. I can't believe you guys were that close. That's how tired I am. Oh, I got the cute little striped cells again. That's interesting. So I think I'm going to push it off this way. That'll bring it back just a little bit. So we're gonna have to practice a little more on the smaller canvas, that's for sure. I'm wondering if that's why people weren't getting it like I did, I don't know. Somebody said I have magic in my cup, I think that's a riot. Definitely things I'll do differently the next time, but too much paint. So I might only need nine ounces for it. And so I'll try that the next time. Bring you guys into this wonky little beauty here. It's definitely different. I'm loving the blue and white and fire opal and red cells. They really are really cool. And I have cells within cells with green in them, which is really neat. Really excited about that. I like this piece. It's definitely different. Let me give it a torch. Bring out some more of those cells. So this will continue developing for a few more minutes and then it'll be done. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Maybe look at it from this side. I had my phone plugged in, so I'm sorry for the jerkiness back there. I like these. These are interesting. Um, I've never gotten blue with red and white, which is a 
very different for me. We got the cells within the striped cells. Got these beautiful bits right here. But yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to donate towards uh, the arts and my mission to bring you beautiful work, uh, I have a PayPal me link below. I started an Etsy shop, so I have a few listings in there that's still in a work in progress. My social media links are also included below in the description. You can get the Arteza products um, through the affiliate links as well. <coughs> Pardon me. You can get um, a discount if you um, purchase through those links. Um, what else? And the Lily Vefe. Lole, Loli Vefe. <laughs> I give up. Um, Matt's as well. There's a coupon code. So there's a couple of coupon codes down below there. Have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching. crazy and then just red coral there and I've got little cells inside of cells that are striped multi-striped in some places where is it right there All the tangerine cells here with the gold. It's a pretty piece. But a 16 by 16 is difficult to gauge, so I'm going to have to give it another go with the other canvas.